Hey, hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how does facial recognition service works, which is being built with Python Flask as a front end and the back end is totally using AWS PaaS services, especially it uses Amazon recognition service to recognize the face actually, right? So this is the PPT which depicts my solution here. So what I do is first I'm going to demo the how does my, you know, the Python Flask application, which is meant for facial recognition works. After that demo, I'm going to come back and I'm going to explain this, uh, you know, the, the basically the design solution here, right? So what I do is I'm going to take you to the my Visual Studio code. Uh, so this is my Visual Studio code. I have already written the code required to, you know, to, to work the facial recognition. So here I'm using Python Flask as the front end. And as I said, you know, we are actually using the AWS PaaS services uh, to construct the, you know, the, the, the facial recognition uh, flow actually, right? So first, you know, as you see here, so this is the source code, as I said, what I do is I'm going to run this, um, you know, this Flask application locally, and we're going to see the functionality of that uh, web application, right? And uh, after that demo is been done, I'm going to come back and explain the how the solution has been constructed, okay? All right, so what I do is I'm going to run this, my, you know, Python Flask application, which is meant for, um, you know, facial recognition service. So, I'm running my Python Flask application by going to this particular directory uh, and using the Flask F N F N app, uh, then running the you know app dot file. So this is the way how that you know the the Flask application runs. Uh, so this is the you know the endpoint it got, which is a which is which is actually you know the the local endpoint uh, basically hosted on a local server. So when I hit this enter, so this is how my you know the simple facial recognition uh, page looks like. So this is as the name says, this is for administration. So in this one, I have created a two functionalities. One is meant for registering the face ID. Then the second one that is the recognize the face ID. So recognizing the face ID is the main important, you know, the, the functionality of the web application, right? So for now, let's consider, uh, you know, so I'm going to demo the both the functionality here. First, let's see, you know, how does the face uh, will be registered, okay? Think that a case where, you know, a face has to be registered and then as business as usual, whenever you need to authorize the particular face that has to be recognized and should be authorized, right? So that's where the second functionality comes in picture, right? For now, let's go to the register face, which is my function, you know, which is basically my, you know, the first functionality of the, my, you know, application, right? So this is how my second page uh, looks like. That is a register page. Uh, it is a simple, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, basically uh, front end. Yeah. Uh, so this is the heading as you see here. And uh, I have a couple of buttons, which actually it starts the webcam. Uh, captures the face along with that so when you re when you want to register that face you have to capture the metadata of that face as well right so that metadata is also i'm capturing it here okay so what i do is i'm going to start the webcam and you can see me in the webcam right now so all right so i have switched on so this is me uh, who is the owner of uh, you know the cloud quick labs youtube channel so as you see this is my picture as of now uh, this is my face uh, what I do is, you know, before I, so this is the face we need to register into the, into the database. Yeah. Uh, so now what I do is I'm going to add the metadata. So for example, say, let me add a metadata saying like, uh, you know, the, um, uh, let me add it like, you know, Albert Einstein. Yeah. So let me say the first name is Albert and let it be Einstein. Sorry if I'm typing the wrong, uh, you know, the uh, last name. Yeah, so then let's make the date of birth of Albert Einstein equal to say like, uh, you know, so just uh, three years back. So what I'm doing is, you know, so before uh, you register the face, you know, we need to give this data, right? So let me make Albert Einstein very young here. So just I'm just giving the dummy date of birth. So I'm going to add the, you know, the, the dummy number as well. So this is the dummy number. Yeah. Uh, then what I do is, you know, so there are the buttons, as I said, there are like multiple buttons, which include start the webcam, stop the webcam, you know. So basically, it does also works like, uh, you know, start stopping the webcam as well. And then the, there's a button called capture. Well done. So when you click on the capture, so basically it captured the, you know, the image. Okay. So I was talking that's the reason this image uh, of my face is being registered now. Okay. So now this is how basically what I did is, you know, we have registered my face with using some name. Let's recognize my face in the sense, this is the second functionality where, you know, you need to verify the face, which is a major part of the, you know, the application, right? So consider that, you know, this is, uh, you have some system, you have some business process, you have something like, you know, maybe the financial services where you need to authorize a person uh, with using the face ID, right? So this is how the web application could be built in, yeah? So this is a showcasing that, you know, uh, that, you know, the my CloudCube channel has developed this application and, and you know it you know i can deliver this as a freelancing service 
or I can take it as a you know basically as a project as well. But this is just a showcase that you know we have developed this solution. So what I do is I'm gonna start the webcam again just to verify my face again. Yeah, so let me keep calm and I'm gonna capture the verify my image. I'm gonna click on verify button and it's gonna take a snap of that uh, my face and it's gonna verify from the back end. All right, so my image is been taken. And what it does is after the image is been taken, it does automatically, you know, captures that image and it hits the back end and verifies the face you know, and, and also retrieves the data. So when we have registered the face, at that time, I have given these data, like, you know, my first name is Albert and Einstein, right? This is my phone number. This is the data. But, and finally, it does also, you know, it does also returns the confidence in the sense how much exactly the face has been matching, right? So this is how the web application has been built. Yeah, so as I said again, I am you know happy to you know help you uh, as a freelance here as a, I can take it as a project or I can take it as you know basically uh, on on project support as well. So please reach to my you know my email address or my to my uh, YouTube channel to if you need any kind of support in this case or if you need any kind of freelancing services here. As I said, so this is how the web application has been built. Now what I do is I'm going to roll back to the my slide and I'm going to explain that you know how does this you know application works. So basically, this will be very quick, uh, you know, the, the design walkthrough. So as I said, you know, so we have uh, built our web application with using, you know, Python Flask. Uh, in the front end of the, you know, um, uh, so the, you know, the, the major heavy lifting work of the back end is been done by the Lambda. So the Lambdas are written in Python, so I can uh, serve that as well. And the back end services which we are using here is, you know, bucket recognition service, which is a major heart of the service. And then we have, uh, you know, the memory that is, uh, you know, the DynamoDB in the sense, the metadata of the face has been kept in the DynamoDB and the and the pictures which is captured for verification, which is captured for registrations are stored here, right? So the flow of something like this. So for example, say whenever the user has been requesting for a registration, so the flow goes from the web to, to API gateway. From the API gateway, it will hit to the register Lambda and then, then the Lambda keeps the copy of that face into the, um, you know, so into the uh, this bucket and then automatically it also gives the response back and then again it will go to the response back here and again we have the server this is the server right so then server will again invoke a one more uh, one more workflow which is actually to create a face index right and that is where the flow will come here what does this you know so basically it does references the you know the the snap uh you know the snap that we have taken that is a face snap that we have taken um you know it just references the bucket and the object name which is nothing but you know the the uh, the face picture you know object key that would become an input to the, uh, I mean, you know, the, the recognition service and it will create a face index. And that face index reference is being written back. And again, you know, so when you are registering, we do have the metadata. So we are using that metadata plus face ID, it will be registered in a DynamoDB. And then when the response is being given back, so the, this is the response is been given back here again, which will say that, you know, the face is being registered. And again, so that's a final functionality that is called, you know, verify the face. The verify the face, again, the flow will hit back to the API gateway. And this time it will come to this workflow that is verify face ID. It does references the you know the bucket as well because you know it does the both the job in the sense it uploads the face into the you know the the verification bucket and then you know get the face ID. Then actually once the face ID is been returned and the confidence values are been retrieved and then you know it basically retrieves the records from the DynamoDB and returns back and that is what I'm presenting. Yeah. All right. So this service is been fully developed by me and and the thoughts are behind is uh, you know behind is totally you know from my side only and again so i'm 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 happy to help you as a project and happy to help you as a you know so basically as a on project support with using the freelancing as well all right all right so with that note i have shown you the things need to be shown in this video finally i can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video